everyone, I'm Lexi, and today I decided to do a more original drawing before my big special art piece I have for Halloween. Today I am drawing just a simple ghost, a Japanese ghost with a kimono and a little triangular headpiece thingy. However, this may contain language and other media not suited for children, so if you're one of my younger viewers, either watch with caution or go to one of my other videos. With that said, let's go right ahead. So as I drew, looking for inspiration, I wondered how I could make this ghost different, you know? There's so many variations of ghosts that may or may not have been done, so I was thinking of how I could make mine different. When finally, it hit me. Ghosts are the souls of the dead, right? And I recently watched a doll redesign video where they made a goddess of death or a goddess of the dead. So I was like, what if I did that? So I gave her a more skeletal face with her left side having more of a skull kind of look to it and adding a skull-like smile to her right side along with the sunken in cheek. And I really like it. I was going to do more but I didn't want it to overpower the ghost-like thing which was what I was going for. I was also trying to go for a beautiful yet dangerous kind of feel which I think depicts ghosts or even death very nice. Where death or some forms of death can be seen as beautiful as stated as certain diseases in history, but it is also dangerous and nobody should want to go through that, you know? So I feel having her part beautiful and partially dead helps give the feel I was going for, for beautiful yet dangerous. So with her kimono, I wanted it to look a little tattered, you know, like she's been dead and decaying for years and her ghostly clothes, skin and hair hair and face will show that time hasn't been very kind to her. This is a drawing where I did a lot of different things, like the background. I never draw backgrounds. I usually just go with the color and call it a day. However, this time I made tombstones, the gates, and even the night sky. It's not the best, but I do plan to work on backgrounds more in the future. I also decided to add foxfires in the graveyard to help add something to the drawing. And I like it, and I hope you do too. to the color. I know it looks very rough at this point in time, but I colored it at full opacity, then in the layer I lowered the opacity to around 75-50%. And again, if you want to try and draw this or draw something and the color looks too vibrant, then just lower the opacity to your liking. With a lowered opacity, I also feel like it helps give that translucent feel. You know, something that goes out. The reason I decided to go with blue for the skin is because uh, spirits or in modern Japanese media, like manga, anime, etc., are depicted as having a blue light.
So of course, it wouldn't be a ghost without the white kimono. Similar to the zombie girl I drew earlier this month, I had to go back and forth between a dark background color and the white background. This time it wasn't unbearable to look at though, and it is the background color, or the base one at least. I felt like going with a red trim for the kimono to help add contrast to the piece. to the eyes. Weird, am I right? Not really though. We do eyes, then hair, but that's besides the point. I decided to go with the yellow, goldish eyes. Again, I feel like it helps add contrast to the piece and it helps add a focus point to the drawing. I hope. Anyways, that a viewer's eyes will be drawn to her eyes than everywhere else, you know? I also decided on a dark gray where the white of the eyes would be, because again, I want her to look dangerous along with beautiful, and I felt that helps add to that and add to the skeletal look altogether. With the dark, dark shading around the pupil, I added a light green, like a lime green. And under the pupil, I added a really light orange and added white highlights here and there. And voila, eyes, or I guess in this case, eye is done.
So, of course, like I already said, I made the little souls around her, around her, blue similar to her because she is a soul, just in human form, I guess. So, I think I forgot to record this, but I made a gradient as a background color. I had a pale yellow around where the crescent moon is, and went all the way to navy blue around the bottom corners of the drawing, and boy it looks good! I don't mean to be conceited or arrogant, but damn! In all honesty, it was just I was just gonna go with a full on navy blue, but this is so much better, so happy accident! Just like me! <laughs> Joke. So I colored the moon a paler yellow, then erased some of the background to give it stars since the sky felt a little bare, in my opinion. And voila, night sky! Since I'm coloring the gravestones, I was thinking of putting names on them, but I decided against it. I guess I didn't want to do more work. I'm already not a fan of the drawn background. Why make more work for myself when it might just make it worse? And in the words of Invaders Inn, worse or better? Worse. Definitely worse. Now we're on to the shading. So for her skin, I decided to go with a couple of shades. I used a blue for basic areas and in little creases here and there that would be darker, I added a purple slash indigo color. On top of that, I believe I kept the shading at full opacity, which I think looks really good. With the sunken in cheek, I also added black shading there. And I did it with the kimono too. I added a mid-tone gray and I think almost black for shading. And I should probably mention I completely forgot to shade the hair. Oops. <laughs> Lol. Similar to the last drawing, I also jumped a lot from here and there because, again, I'm not clean with shading, so instead of having 10 minutes of me cleaning up my shading, I cut it all, I cut it all out as to not bore you. Now, with me switching back and forth, I color shaded on the wrong layer, so I had to go back and forth, see where I screwed up, and redo it. 
The first couple of times, it's a little funny, but and something you can look back on and laugh at, but now I feel only suffering. Patched and tattered clothing, so some fabric patches that also have some shading in it. I wanted the eyes to glow or have that sort of effect. Effect. So I airbrush colored around the colored part of the eyes, which adds a little glow, I think. Highlights! I added a light blue, almost white, for the centerish parts of her, and even a, a light white line around the edge of her facing the moon, because the moon would glow on her along with the tombstones. And with the souls, as I stated, they would glow, so I added a light blue highlights around them to make them look like they're glowing. That's the finished product. I'm really, really happy with it. I know that I could have done things better. <coughs> Background. <coughs> but other than that, I really like how she turned out. Maybe in future videos I can make an improved art video, but for now, I'm gonna bask in, the, in this one. Anywho, it looks like my time is up. If you like it, please let me know. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. It helps out a lot. And if you want to see what I'm going to do next, follow me on Instagram. If you have any comments about it, please, again, tell me on Instagram. I'd be more than happy to hear your thoughts. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!